The safety of our communities is at risk with Wisconsin breaking 3000 cases of COVID-19 yesterday. Health experts say the state is out of control with COVID-19. News 8 Now's Jordan Fremstad introduces us to a new coalition of state leaders with a common message about the seriousness of this situation. At the start of September, Wisconsin averaged 696 daily cases over seven days. Fast forward to this week, and that seven-day average is north of 2,000, with 3,132 new cases yesterday. Tonight, a dangerous situation is close to getting out of control in Wisconsin. Wisconsin set single-day records. Many Wisconsin hospitals are operating at or near capacity. A hospital in the Fox Valley in Nina experienced a 500% increase in hospitalizations. We trail only California and Texas in the number of new cases in the last seven days. If this is any indication of the gravity of the situation, Wisconsin's temperature is not good. Today, a collaboration of state stakeholders announced a coalition called Stop the COVID Spread, aimed at combating the growing crisis. The impact of Wisconsin's growing situation is most visible in healthcare, a sector that touches all of our lives and all of our industries. Thursday's tone was mutual. I wish we weren't here today, but we must be. We're pleased to be a part of it, but we wish we didn't have to. Officials like Wisconsin Manufacturers and Commerce President and CEO Kurt Bauer says people should take the same precautions at home as they do at work. In order to protect themselves, to protect their loved ones, to protect their co-workers, and of course to protect their communities. So we need everybody to step up. Christine Hilmer, President and CEO of the Wisconsin Restaurant Association, says business owners can set an example. The protocol set in place at a business is only as good as how they are followed, both by the business and those who patronize the business. Wisconsin has nine cities on the New York Times list of metro areas with the greatest number of new cases relative to their population in the last two weeks. Mark O'Connell, executive director of the Wisconsin Counties Association, says every person has the opportunity to be part of the solution. We can wear a mask. We can wash our hands. We can socially distance. These are not hard things. Reporting in La Crosse, this is Jordan Fremstead, News 8 Now. La Crosse County has actually seen a decrease in its seven-day average over the past two weeks. This new coalition will work to provide more education to people through public service announcements and other avenues.